Thank you, Dr. Trouth. Obviously, this was a long process, and I know that some of you think, well, I knew Coach, and it was going to be the, it was going to happen, and this, that, and the other. And, and somebody said, well, you took the easy way out. You went and hired one of your friends. But I can tell you what, uh, a football coach and an athletic director is a marriage. And so you better hire somebody who's a friend of yours and somebody you know and what you're going to get uh, because there's a lot of tough times and a lot of negotiations and a lot of talking and a lot of, a lot of things that go on behind the scenes. So you better be comfortable with who you're working with. When, when we were looking at all the candidates and, and we looked at the direction this university wants to go, I think in the back of our minds, all of our minds, uh, we kind of wanted somebody who may have been there. It, it's always easier to go where you're going if you've been there before. And knowing he had been there before to the next level and been successful uh, kind of rose to the top. And then one night in the hotel room, I just started jotting down people he would be competing against in houses uh, across the state of Texas. So I looked down at San Antonio and I saw Larry Coker, then I went over to College Station, I saw Mike Sherman, and then I went to Dallas and I saw June Jones. I went to Denton and I saw Dan McCarney who just got hired. I went to Lubbock and I saw Tommy Tuberville and then I went to Austin and I saw Mac Brown. And the one thing that tied those guys together are several things is they've all been successful. They've been successful at the big level and they can all walk into those homes with their own rings that they've earned as head coaches. And for them to be able to say that to a kid that I was the leader that took that team to the next level and won those bowl games just really stood out to me and I figured I've got to get somebody that can walk in those rooms and do the same thing. And I think we definitely accomplished that today. And the last thing that I went back uh, yesterday and I read an article that was in the Austin Statesman a few weeks ago where Gary Patterson, the head coach at TCU, was talking about the Rose Bowl and going to the game and he said, when I get back from the Rose Bowl, I'm going to come back to my office and I'm going to take down and clean up the walls and pull down the stuff from that USC win several years ago when it all started at TCU. Well, I was on that staff at TCU when it all started at TCU and they just won the Rose Bowl, but the football coach at that time was Dennis Francioni. So Gary Patterson was really going back and giving Dennis the credit for taking TCU where it is today. Now Gary's had to carry that on, but Dennis started it because we were one in 10 at TCU. And a few years later, we were 10 and one. So it, it made a huge difference to get the right guy in there. And then the last thing I'll say is, uh, obviously the lifeblood of this is, is high school coaches. And when I went and met with D.W. Rutledge, the president of the High School Coaches Association a few weeks ago, and it was a confidential meeting and I went through the list with him. And when I got to Fran's name, he said, nobody will outwork Dennis Francioni. Well, earlier in that day, Ty Harrington and I were talking, our baseball coach, and Ty said, you better get somebody who's going to work hard and can stay up here and take you through these challenges that can put a lot of time and effort into it. So those two things stuck in my head right there. And that's all that coming together uh, leads me to an exciting announcement. Uh, starting today, our new head football coach, a good friend of me, my family, and, and everybody else, Dennis Francioni. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Wow. What a great turnout. This is just awesome. Unbelievable. Uh, it's uh, kind of an emotional day for me. And what a, uh, what a special feeling for me, having been here 20 years ago, to be in the sack and pack room and to think back to Garland Warren, and I see Blake back there and probably some more of the Warren family, and, and they've been great friends for so long, and Garland was such a, a special friend to me. Uh, quick story, he took me to buy boots one time. I knew, I knew nothing about cowboy boots, but he, he said I needed to have some. And I said, well, I'm in Texas, I, sh I guess I should. 
So he sent me back to pick out a pair, and I came back, and he says, whoa, boy, you picked out the most expensive ones. <laughs> so I didn't know. They just fit good. But I, I really, I can't express to you today, uh, really in my own words, what it means to be back here uh, and, and to be a Bobcat again. It, it is really, really special um, in so many ways. And, and uh, I want to recognize my wife, Kim. Everybody probably knows her. Uh, you know, uh, uh, so many times down through uh, our coaching career, and we've been so blessed for the opportunities that we've had in coaching, um, the athletes that we've got to coach, the places we've got to be. But so many times we have had a conversation and said, our time was too short in San Marcos. Uh, and it really was. Uh, opportunity developed, and we had the chance, and, we, and at that time we, we couldn't pass that up, but our, our time was too short here. We loved the university. We loved our friends here. We had such dear friends that have remained our friends for so many years. Uh, the community, uh, it, it's just a, a special place, and we, it's always been in our heart, and it's been a very fond one for us. <clears throat> I think what... Uh, for me and, and for Kim and for our family, what was so exciting was when we heard the vision uh, uh, for the future of Texas State. And then to go through the meetings the last few days and to, to even have that vision more refined and, and presented to us, and uh, it, it's really exciting uh, to, to hear about it and to think about it and think about the things that, that can accomplish. And I certainly want to say a, a special thank you to, to President Trout and to, to Larry, uh, who's been a great friend for so many years for this opportunity and uh, for their support and everything. Uh, as they talked about their vision, uh, I know this from 35 years in coaching, um, vision is expensive, but not as expensive as lack of vision. And when I, throughout my entire coaching career, when I have been around visionary people, I have been invigorated and excited and and enthused and passionate and ready to go. And uh, spending a couple days with them was, the flame uh, was, was really high because of the things that they said. And I know this is an unbelievable institution and I know that there is no limit to what it can accomplish academically and I know there's no limit to what we can accomplish athletically. I fir really firmly believe that. Um, I, I, I've been really blessed for this career, as I mentioned, and, and this move to Division I uh, for this institution was, was uh, from the very moment I heard about that, uh, was exciting. Uh, there are going to be challenges with this. Uh, there's going to be a transition ahead. Uh, I understand that. Uh, I used to, used to say uh, I always got the kind of jobs that had challenges. Uh, I didn't get any ready-made ones. Uh, I, 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 it's not my first rodeo. I've been, I've been through this a little bit. Uh, I know where the uh, landmines are as we go forward because I've been a part of them, uh, unfortunately, sometimes. I used to say I wasn't good enough to get a good job. I always got the jobs that needed, needed repairing. Uh, but uh, that's kind of become my niche, I guess. And, and uh, so that... That really uh, excited me. And then going into the Western Athletic Conference, I've been in that conference I don't know how many years at two different schools, so now three. Uh, the wax changed many times down through the years, uh, certainly, but uh, uh, that, that's an exciting uh, future for us to go into that conference. Carl Benson has been my commissioner many times, so I'm really excited about that. And I, and I really believe knowing those schools, I've been to all of them, I've played them, uh, knowing those schools, I think we can be competitive in the Western Athletic Conference pretty quickly. That we have one great thing going for us right here that gives us a chance to be competitive quickly and going to Division I opens doors and we have a fertile recruiting base. There are players in this state. Uh, over 300 Division I signees a year in this state from, uh, that go to approximately 60 different Division I institutions. So I just got to get 20. Maybe, 20, maybe 25, surely we can find a way to do that.